Tech Diesel Diesel Technology Program. Today we are uh, we're going to be checking the ability and the taper of the bores within this uh, Ford six liter. Um, first, we got to disassemble it to, to get to the to the bores that in which we're trying to measure. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and remove the the crankcase. Uh, after that, I'm going to move the the rod caps. Tighten it, loosen it. As you can see, my gauge is stopped. I'm using my dial indicator. First, you got to make sure it's on zero, which it is not. Now it is. Open it up. All right, that, that would that would be how you get the measurement of the top of the bore. All right, which I already taken the measurements. I have them written down on the board over here. Um, I'm going to show you how to get the measurements first, and then we'll go over to the board. I already know that the top measurement of my bore here is 3.738, and to get the 90 of the top, you just turn 90 degrees with your with your snap gauge. Within the cylinder, snap. Try to make sure it's straight. Tighten it back down. Bring it out. Once again, using your dial dial gauge. And that's how you get your measurement for your ninety. All right. So that's how you get the the top measurement and your top 90. Now, with like I said, the motor's upside down. At the bottom of the board here, this would be the bottom of the motor. You do the exact same thing. You get a horizontal and a vertical. I'm trying to make sure it's perpendicular, tighten it, bring it out, using your gauge once again, I'm not going to do it again, you've seen me do it twice, that's how you would get your measurement of the, the bottom, uh, your bottom, uh, the bottom of the bore, close your snap gauge again, and then you want to go 90 degrees, You get that again. All right. Being I already have my four measurements up on the board. Uh, the specifications for this motor, like I said, on the Ford 60 diesel, uh, your taper cannot be more than any three thousandths of an inch out of taper. Your max out of round is two thousandths of an inch. Now to get to find out what your taper and your out of round is. You take the four measurements that you just got. Um, I, I wrote a little diagram here for the ability. This would be your uh, your out of round, obviously. Um, y is your top measurement, 3.738, which is right here, your Y. Your X would be 3.739, which is your 90, the top two measurements that I took. Now you take these, you subtract them. Uh, being that I graduated high school, I can uh, add that fairly quickly. And I get one. Alright? This is one thousandth of an inch out of ability. Or your ability is one thousandth of an inch. The taper of the motor is your top and your bottom. 3.738 uh, would be my top measurement. That I got with my snap gauge, and the bottom is 3.740. Now, you take the, or you subtract those as well, and you get 0 0.002. Now, with my specifications, my taper 
cannot be more than three thousandths of an inch out. I have a two thousand uh, out of taper or taper. Therefore, I'm within specifications. That bore is uh, when it comes to the taper of the bore, it's just fine. Now, at my outer round cannot be any more than two thousandths of out out of round, and I have a one thousand out of round with my mobility of that bore. So right now, as that bore sits, it's within specifications. I can reassemble everything, go ahead and put it back together. There's nothing wrong with that particular cylinder. Now, with that being the, the V8 that it is, you would do that with each cylinder or each bore to make sure you know that your mobility and your taper is correct. If it isn't right, then you would have to you know, obviously take your block to a machine shop, have it bored out to, to get the correct taper and the correct ability so that the engine will work correctly. Uh, cool. Now that I've got found out that my bore is okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together and uh, ship this back out to ship this back out to the customer. Hold on one second. It's got the rings
again, finding our groove. The same arrangement on the outside bolts, you know, in a diagonal pattern. Uh, now that I got everything torqued back down, I'm going to throw my oil pan back on, flip her over, throw her back in the truck, we're good to go. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Good. 